Saboteur here, I'm going to show you how to get the white face mask, an excellent helmet for bleed builds. What it does is increases your attack power by about 10% for about 20 seconds once blood loss has been inflicted on an enemy. You need to initiate a quest by white face Vare located here at Rose Church. It's the same NPC you would have met at the start of the game. He relocates here after you've beaten Godfrey the Grafted boss and then going back to speak to Vare and then visiting the round table hold for the first time and then Vare will spawn here select the dialogue I've selected in the video here he's going to start his quest line he'll give you some festering fingers he wants you to do three invasions PvP but don't panic you don't need to win but once you've done three PvP invasions go back to Vare to progress the quest now I'll go back to Vare he's going to give you the next step in his quest it'll be a white cloth he gives you that you need to soak in maiden's blood nice now the spot i'm going to you're going to need a stone sword key and you're going to go to a place called the belfry so make sure you select anoint me in this dialogue here to accept his quest all right so you need to go to the belfries which is only a short distance over here if you've already explored the area you may have a site of grace here which i'm going to spawn at otherwise if you're making your way up the hill basically you need to go to the second belfry which is the east one on the edge of the cliff here you need to go to this one here, use the stone sword key to unlock the portal, step into the portal and you're going to be teleported to a new zone. In this new zone you need to cross a bridge and defeat this tutorial boss. Yes, it's the same boss you fought at the start of the game during the tutorial, where he pretty much kills you. Anyway, you've got to head in this direction to the church up the stairs here. Once you're in the church, just look to the left here, you'll see the body of the maiden that you need to soak the cloth red blood. And then basically once you've done that, then you can head back to Whiteface Vari. Now when you speak to Vari again, you'll see this little cutscene initiation. He's going to give you a new bloody finger. So now you can do PvP to your heart's content. He's also going to give you another little metal medallion. And that item is what we need to use to teleport to another new area. So this is the item you need to use, which is this one here called the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. Alright, so when you use that item, you'll spawn down those steps. On the way up, there's a corpse with a map for the area. Now, you don't need to go up those stairs. What you need to do from the first site of grace is just head off this cliff, get on your horse, and just follow the trail I'm going along here. There is more to this quest line. If you decided to go up those stairs from that site of grace through a cave and up further, and then a big lift, there's a boss area boss fight called Mog. But you don't want to kill him yet, otherwise what we're going to do next may not work so don't kill mog yet do this first if you want to get the white face mask so basically this is the path we just took from that first site of grace to the next site of grace right now and this is a popular spot for a new farming area because what you need to do is take out your bow and arrow shoot that bird once and he's just going to run off the cliff now you need, actually need to go down in that area so you might as well get rid of that pesky bird so it doesn't get in your way so once he's down and out of the way get on your horse and we're going to go to that area where we shot the bird so head back down from the direction you came from when you get to that red water's edge take a left through here and then jump off this little cliff and this is the area where you shot the bird now these big rock pillars here is where the npc spawns so this is the guy who's going to drop the white face mask now he may not spawn if you've already killed the boss Mog, Lord of Blood. So make sure you haven't killed Mog, Lord of Blood. Also, sometimes you also need to walk into the water where he actually spawns if you haven't killed Mog yet. But um, walk around in that water bit there and come back again and he should spawn where you walked. Okay, get ready. This is it, the Nameless White Mask Invader. And what else do you do when you come across an invader or boss near a cliff? You want to try and make him jump off. He'll follow you off the cliff and you'll get rewarded. You will lose your runes. Alright, so this is the white mask and these are the stats. So, like I said before, it's a great helmet to have for your bleed build. To get out of here, bring up your map, toggle to the upper levels, read the instructions down the bottom of the map there, then you can spawn to any site of grace. So there you have it, the white face mask for bleed builds. Now please consider subscribing and hit the bell to stay updated. Drop us a like, it really helps me out as I really love providing this content. Hope to see you all next time.